Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Kapian and this is called Blade Vortex Occultist Build Guide uh, for patch 3.22 tri Trial of, of Ancestors. Uh, that's a pretty cool build that is medium in budget, it has an okay damage, it has pretty cool and fast uh, clear, it is okay in, t in terms of defenses. Uh, yeah, and it's just an interesting thing uh, to build your character, at least in my own opinion. So yeah, I've seen uh, these types of, of builds being quite popular on occultists in the current league, even as uh, something close to a starter, maybe not everyone, and like yeah, probably most of these were starting as vortex um, occultist or elementalist and then respect into this because this type of setup definitely requires a bit of a bit more of a investment in terms of currency, unique items, jewels and stuff like that, but it definitely is a pretty interesting playstyle. Uh, it has pretty good numbers as well, so before we're going into the build itself, I definitely re recommend you to subscribe to my channel because there's going to be a lot of content like this in coming days and weeks. And yeah, if it's just if you want to support me as a creator, then uh, definitely subscribe and maybe like the video if you will like it. So uh, let's go to the build itself. We'll start from talent tree, skills, and then items. So the talent tree itself. Uh, what are we taking here? Um, it's mostly going to be life. We're utilizing a bunch of power charges and we're uh, getting inner conviction, which uh, we're basically we use only power charges and we don't really use frenzy charges and we're stacking a big number of power charges in here and this build has a very high ceiling in terms of damage potential so you can upgrade it you can get more and more different stuff on it um, but this you know, this um, example in particular with these types of with this number of damage and defenses is quite medium budget it, it's definitely not on the highest um, price uh, range even for regular builds uh, and this type of build can go even further uh, than that so yeah now after the power charges itself we're going for cold damage of course we are heat build it's not a cold damage over time build so we're interested in penetration we're interested in regular um just cold damage we're getting some cluster jewels i'm gonna go for them a little bit uh after that mana reservation efficiency again uh more uh, maximum power charges uh, endurance charges as well as you can probably see here it's not even in here so uh, survivability is a bit better with endurance charges uh, being uh, up then whenever we're going in here we're taking second big cluster jewel uh, stack then we're getting additional curse mana reservation efficiency some life and power charge and that's basically it when it comes to the talent tree itself so now let's go into the detail about unique jewels first and then cluster jewels so in terms of unique jewels militant faith um yeah it's high templar dominus uh, and uh it gives us four percent increased damage uh, area damage per 10 devotion and two percent uh, to all elemental resistances per 10 devotion so these things uh, give us devotion so yeah all, all the attributes all the little ones then uh, other little ones gives us five devotion big ones gives us a bit of devotion and that's uh, just uh, for you to easier cover all your um, max re all, all your maximum elemental resistances and as you can see here we're way over capped and just to get additional area damage as well and of course for for the inner conv uh, for the inner conviction that's the most powerful and valuable uh, thing that we can get here and now for the other uh, jewel sockets it's impossible escape um, passives in radius of mage being can be allocated without being connected to your tree so yeah these jewels they vary in price in terms of it it, it depends on which um, talent which keystone talent is on them uh, but they're not always pricey that you can get them cheap you can get them it, it all depends uh, but here we are interested in skill effect duration for blade vortex it's regularly the case um, and and yeah we can get additional spell suppression chance from reflexes as well so we're uh, taking charisma as our anointment for additional minor reservation efficiency uh, and then for our last um, unique jewel uh, is going to be yeah so here uh, this build in particular uses inspired learning for uh, for it to be more zoomy you can um, just easily 
take something else and utilize it there or maybe just get the inspired learning and have this uh, additional zoomy thing so it's definitely a map clearing build it's quite fast it's quite um yeah you don't really need to use your skills you're just running past the enemies blowing them up everyone's everything's exploding and it's all very um fun uh, and then uh here we we have watcher's eye with damage penetrates cold resistance uh, when affected by hatred which is definitely very good uh, and regular jewels are just for you to get uh, maybe some resistances some area damage uh, global fizz um, maximum life maybe cold damage will be good um, yeah so that's basically it when it comes to regular jewels or unique jewels and now the um, cluster jewels here we are taking fizz damage one uh, with additional yeah, fizz damage increases some even um, additional armor as we are utilizing armor to mitigate physical damage incoming towards us chance to deal double damage again increases to fizz damage as well uh, and this one is a uh, cold damage one so here we have some elemental damage leached as life as you can see here our leech our life leech is capped uh, we don't have too much maximum life and increases for life which means that our life leech is not going to be super strong but it's still pretty good and blade vortex works constantly so even if you're stunned it's not like with regular regular skills whenever uh, you're stunned and you can't really hit anything to leech uh, your blade vortex is will still spin uh, and blast freeze here cold damage freezes you inflict spread to other enemies within a radius which is definitely very good especially with how the occultist works and how much um yeah just basically how much uh defend uh, defensive capabilities it can give you and here's again just additional elemental damage um, then medium cluster jewels are area of effect so we try we're trying to get more aoe some increased area of effect per power charge as well some maximum life with aoe as well and small ones are for mana reservation efficiency as you can see here yeah it's basically just biggest uh, rolls of mana reservation efficiency with some other uh, useful stuff on top of that uh, when it comes to our ascendancy we are taking profane bloom for enemies to explode we are going for void beacon minus cold resistance and we're taking frigid wake which gives us uh, immunity to freeze and chill it gives us more damage and we are freezing enemies um yeah we're freezing enemies it's more damage and stuff like that then forbidden power is one of the most important things in here it is it gives us additional power charge it gives us um is, uh, power charge generation a little bit as well uh, and then we have increased aoe and increased damage per power charge uh, so that's basically it when it comes to the talent tree everything is quite uh, yeah not not too much of different difficult stuff uh, probably the closest one is impossible escape that you need to know how how it works but it works just like this so yeah um, just around mage bane you can take all the talents without you needing to path towards them uh, now let's go for the skills so uh, we are using vol blade vertex um, it will give us additional single target damage uh, inspiration for re reduction of cost and um, crit strike chance and uh, damage uh, then crit critical damage of course crit multi is one of our main things uh, that will ramp our damage cold penetration unleash and power charge uh, on critical um, there it's it's all pretty obvious how it works so we're going pretty hard on power charges which means that this one will be powerful unleash is very good with blade vortex so you don't need to uh, stack it as much it's stacked then you're pre or pressing it you have multiple uh, stacks uh, from the get-go and then you're running and it's quite easy to yeah understand why we are taking it cold pen quite uh, yeah uh, again we need to penetrate enemies uh, resistances and uh, multiplier for our critical damage is highly important as we are going quite high on our power charges and chance for crit uh, then we are using frost blink to just um, dodge things zealotry and hatred with enlighten so level three here is uh, enough you can uh, play with so it depends on how much and reserved mana you have maybe you have some additional mana on your gear maybe you have some additional mods that um, additional mana reservation efficiency or stuff like that it all depends on your particular setup but enlighten is very very uh, good in here uh, then we are using shield charge with faster attacks 
uh, yeah, Assassin's Assassin's Mark um, is going to be, uh, as you can see here, it is in weapon one. Uh, and we don't really have anything special in weapon one, which means that you just need to use your uh, assassin's mark um, by yourself on the targets that are that need more damage from you. Uh, so, so it's yeah, uh, critical strike multiplier, flat crit uh, chance, which will ramp our damage. Um, and shield charge is very very good for you to use um, with uh, blade vortex because you're going to be running through all the enemies and it's not like with flame dash or something whenever you're blinking um, instantaneously to to the next uh, place you will be running through enemies and they will die from your blade vortex uh, then we see uh, we're using a determination as our defensive one a herald of purity and herald of ice so again if you are quite uh, low on the mana reservation, as you can see here, we have a bunch of different stuff. So cluster jewels for mana reservation, all the talents that we can possibly get for mana reservation. Uh, on the gear, it's going to be present. If you don't have an ability uh, to get all these things, then definitely get rid of um, either heralds, some of heralds, uh, it will lower your, your damage, but herald device in here is one of the, it's like, it's more of a, um aoe clearing thing rather than the damage itself so you will lose less damage you will uh, lose some uh, yeah yeah you will lose slightly less damage and you will lose um more, like some more clear if you don't have uh, enlighten or something like this uh, and then precision so precision just uh, gives us a bit of critical strike chance uh, which is okay and it doesn't really uh, reserve too much mana but again it all depends on your own um, on your own setup and um, it's, it, it, it doesn't really only give us that uh, chance it also gives us additional increased damage because we have this mod for each aura or herald skill affecting us uh, so yeah, basically it gives uh, for a very little investment and one socket, it gives us a bit of damage and crit strike chance. Uh, now then we are using custom damage taken with Molten Shell. We do have an pretty and like enough armor for Molten Shell to be good and not using Steel Skin. If you don't have enough armor, use Steel Skin instead and custom damage taken. So yeah, you're getting some damage to this auto defensive stuff procs and we're good. Vortex we're using as an, uh, it's just going to be probably on your uh, like left mouse button. Uh, it's instantaneous. It creates bone chill area that increases damage uh, that your increases chill effect on enemies and your damage uh, on enemies and arcane surge uh, just um, gives you increased uh, like inc yeah, increased cast speed uh, which is quite useful as well then we're using frostbite which is going to be in our ring uh, and it's again it's a medium budget setup you can automate uh, automate many of things that are present here you can get m much better gear um in uh, everywhere but this is a medium budget setup and mark of submission um, works pretty well with frostbite so you're gonna with your hit with your hits you're going to automatic automatically uh, apply curse on enemies uh, that gives them minus gold damage and there's some um, on kill monster explosions that we're gonna uh, go pretty soon towards so uh, when it comes to our uh, our weapons, we are just using uh, increased spell damage and plus one to level of all spell and physical spell skill gems. Um, as you know, Blade Vortex, it's not a gold gem, it's a physical spell gem. And there's some increased crit strike chance for spells. Um, and that's, yeah, so that's pretty bare bones uh, thing. Um, nothing, uh, yeah, it, it can be quite pricey because of plus two to levels, but it's still, it's nothing uh, extra special. Uh, the shield that we're using, again, plus one to level all physical spell skill gems, uh, then some crit strike chance, uh, um, elemental res, chance to avoid elemental ailments, which can be very, very useful, and some life. Um, in helmet, uh, as you can see here, damage penetrates, gold resistance, increased critical strike chance for spells, but we don't have C, we don't see here mana reservation efficiency that you could have get again uh, in terms of the uh, eldritch influence again but then in in mods uh, it has a bunch of armor resistance some life and increased mana reservation reservation efficiency but there's still place for some uh, improvements in here because it uh, there is open uh, mod still present 
Uh, then as our body armor, uh, we are using Sacrificial Garb and it has a modifier enemies you kill have chance to explode dealing a tenth of their maximum life as physical damage. So that's why I I don't think that you, like, um, if you don't have enough mana, I don't think that you need Herald of Ice that much because you already have explosions going on. But of course, Herald of Ice is not bad by any means. It's pretty good damage increase and AoE increase. Uh, but you can sacrifice it for more uh, free mana available for you. Otherwise, there's a uh, plus one to level of all Vol skill gems, and we're using Vol uh, Blade Vortex. Uh, otherwise, just yeah, some life, um, some resistances, whatever you can squeeze into it with all the other mods that are present. Um, then, as our gloves, we're using Cream Sorrow, so it converts 100% of our damage to cold damage gives us a bit of uh, other um, good stuff as well and it has a corruption for flat uh, mm, for baseline crit critical strike chance increase to our spells which is quite valuable as we're using uh, crit strike pretty intensely uh, then we are using our boots it drops brittle ground which is quite useful some extra physical damage as extra cold as a, as another uh, eldritch implicit chance to suppress spell damage some attributes life increased movement speed and onslaught um and yeah fire resistance um then when it comes to our um amulet yeah so amulet uh, we are allocating charisma as we've already saw um, attributes crit strike multiplier plus one to level of all skill gems which is very very good uh, you can get maybe if if um, not to no, not to such an extent of price you can get at least plus one to all physical ones um, again some attributes and life then with a ring it's mark of submission that makes your curse being automatically applied you can get stuff like this in other places for example uh, corrupted implicit on gloves and stuff but it may cost you way more uh, with frostbite so yeah uh, it's it is here it is very budget efficient uh, then um, for, for our second ring, it's a bunch of uh, resistances, attributes, and maximum life. Uh, belt, again, nothing special. The same stuff here as well. Uh, you can get um, Stygian Vice to get some additional um, Abyss Jewel things going on. So maximum life, phasing, crit strike multiplier. It's all good, um, but you don't really have to get it. Uh, so yeah, life flask with immunity to bleeding and corrupted blood, uh, very uh, good thing to have, um, and probably you want to have, uh, with with how frequent blade vortex attacks enemies, you probably want to have immunity to corrupted blood on some of your jewels, but that's a bit more expensive as well. But there's always room to improvement. Uh, Battle faith, uh, as you can see, I'm gonna use it here. It it gives us damage. It gives us pretty good number of damage but it's not as critical you can live without it it's a bit of a pricey item something closer to one and a half two divines currently um, if you want to you can have it it will give you extra critical strike uh, and straight up uh, damage against enemies but it you're not you, you can replace it with something else that will give you damage as well or it will give you more defensives so we, we do have Taste of Hate uh, Silver and Quicksilver Flask. For example, you can use Granite Flask instead of Bottle Faith. You will have way more armor, you will be way more defended against physical damage, and your effective hit pool will skyrocket even more. Uh, then we're using Taste of Hate, and Taste of Hate gives us damage, it gives us defense against fist damage, it converts it to cold damage, it gives us less cold damage taking, Pretty good, straight up. Uh, Sealer Flask for Onslaught additionally, so we already have things with Onslaught, but it, you, it can never be. And, and again, you can replace, for example, Sealer Flask for Granite to get more defenses as well. Uh, if you especially have other places where you're generating Onslaught for yourself, uh, and Quicksilver Flask with increase to movement speed, which is essential because we're using uh, Shield Charge. Shield Charge is very dependent on movement speed and you want to zoom zoom through uh, through the maps as fast as possible. That's why you definitely want this one. Uh, so yeah, all the jewels we've already saw, we've already talked about them. Uh, that's it with this build. It's quite an interesting concept and there's a bunch of people who played. You can see other setups in terms of... Uh, uh, juicement involved in them 
Um, there is definitely a big uh, room for of improvements um, if you want to use more currency on this build and it will be even faster it will be even more efficient to defend it and it will have way bigger damage but that's it for me thank you for watching hope you're having a good time um, subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this goodbye